Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan Custom Friday, where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Citrus Cream. She was submitted to me by Lexi on my Instagram. Citrus used to be a boring, plain beige pony with a square as her cutie mark, and she was never happy. But one day, Pinkie Pie cheered her her up by giving her a creamsicle popsicle and as soon as she had her first taste of that delicious orange popsicle her entire coat changed colors and her cutie mark transformed into a delicious dripping ice cream rainbow dash is going to be transformed into citrus cream today i'm gonna start off by removing her cutie mark and eyes with some acetone you have to do this step if you're going to be painting the pony white because it's very hard to cover up the dark colors with the color white. Next, I'm going to remove her head since she will be getting all new hair. To do that, you just twist the head firmly to the side until it pops out of the neck plug. To remove the hair, you have to get inside of the head, and to do that, you must remove the neck plug. Sometimes, if there's not too much glue in there, you can just pop it out with some pliers or tweezers, but this one is not going anywhere, so I'm going to actually grab my X-Acto knife and make a series of teeny tiny cuts all the way around the neck plug until I can just pull it right out. And of course, always be very careful when using an X-Acto knife. And I'm going to put that to the side for later. I'm going to grab some big scissors and cut off as much of Rainbow Dash's hair as I possibly can. And then I'm going to switch off this to some teeny tiny scissors and cut that hair even shorter all the way down to the scalp. Inside the head, you can see all of the glue and the roots of the hair still inside. So grab some pliers or tweezers and pull out the chunks of hair and glue until there's nothing left and she is completely bald and ready to be customized. Next is time for the tail. I'm going to cut off the tail as much as I can and then remove the neck plug and using the same method with the X-Acto knife. And you just pull out the plug like that, grab your pliers, and gently pull out what's left of the tail. There's also a metal washer inside of these really small G4 ponies, so make sure that that comes out as well. And now the pony is ready to be customized, and I'm going to start off by covering her in white paint. I'm going to try out acrylic paint today because my bottle of white nail polish is running really low and I'm not sure if I would have enough to do the whole pony. But you can see here why I really don't like using acrylic paint. As soon as you put on a layer, it starts to separate. So let's just see how many layers it's going to take to get complete full opaque coverage. So that's the first layer. You can see it's very streaky. And here comes the second layer and it's still again very streaky I can see a lot of the blue coming through so I'm just going to keep painting and then I will also paint the body I just personally think that trying to make a pony white is one of the hardest colors to do because whether you're using nail polish acrylic paint I've even tried spray paint it's just always hard to get a bright white color here's the head it's completely white now what I had to do was I put four layers of acrylic paint and it was still kind of blue to me so I went over the four layers of acrylic paint with one layer of nail polish and I think it came out okay what I've done is I've put a little bit of orange acrylic paint on a makeup sponge and I'm just dabbing it on the ears and the forehead area just like the drawing of citrus cream and now I'm gonna work on her eyes so to me personally drawing on the eyes is a very difficult especially when you're trying to copy somebody else's drawing but I'm gonna try my best to copy Lexi's OC. So let's get these eyes in. They're like a, um, like a rounded triangle shape almost. And then I'll go in, put the eyelashes, the black area of the eye, 
and she has green eyes so I'll go in with a little bit of green acrylic paint to wrap that eye up and then the last step of course is going to be the white light reflections in her eye and I'm going to put them in the exact same spot that Lexi has in her drawing right about here These eyes came out pretty cute. Now I'm going to put in the final detail on her head and that's the cute little curly Q figure that she has starting from her chin going up towards her eye. And for this I am using a light colored orange acrylic paint and a fine paintbrush. And I'm just going to draw that in the exact same spot as the drawing. And I just think that this detail is so adorable the head's done now it's time to work on the body i apologize i thought i was recording but i wasn't um i have used the same dabbing technique to put uh, the ombre detailing at the bottom of all four hooves there now i'm going to go in and use the same technique the makeup sponge and a little bit of acrylic paint and dab on just a, a little bit of orange on her wings Now I'm going to switch to an actual paint brush and using the same orange color, I'm going to draw in the detailing where it almost looks like ice cream that has dripped down her wings there. And I switched to the actual paintbrush because I need it to be a hard line, but then I'm going to go in and I'm going to feather that line a little bit and blur it with the makeup sponge. And I'm going to repeat that on the other wing and on the back side of each wing as well. Next up, I'm going to draw on the orange slices that she has on each one of her legs. And I just think that this is such a neat idea. I mean, I'm inspired by you guys' OC entries. I mean, I would have never thought to put slices of orange on a pony. I think it's just absolutely adorable. I'm using a thin paintbrush here and a darker shade of orange and I'm just outlining the rough shape of an orange there. So on the front legs I'm going to do half of a slice of orange and on the back legs I'm going to go ahead and do a full slice of orange. I'm drawing in a large circle in the dark orange color like that and then I've mixed up a medium shade of orange here like an orange yellow color and I'm going to outline the orange again and then use that medium orange shade to draw in the cute little orange slices and then I'll switch over back to the dark orange color and fill in the orange slices and this looks so adorable and of course I will repeat this on the other two legs once all the oranges are on, I'm going to go in and paint the adorable curly cues that she has towards the front of her neck, just like the one I drew on the face earlier. And now I'm using some bright blue nail polish. And I'm drawing in the yummy sprinkle she has at the tips of her wings. And once these are in and dry, I'm going to start working on her cutie mark, which is a delicious ice cream. So I'm actually using a dark brown acrylic paint to draw the outline of the little ice cream. And then I'll go in and paint it orange and then put in blue and pink sprinkles. And this is the last and final step that I need to do for the body. Once everything has completely dried, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with a clear coat to seal in all of my work. So that way nothing chips off. I will also seal the head as well. This looks so cute. 
And here it is all sealed. Check out these orange slices. They look so cool. Now it's time for the hair. I've picked out three colors. Nectarine, which is a bright orange. Peaches and cream, which is a light orangey color. And then snow, which is just plain old white. I've mixed up both shades of orange and cut the hair into one quarter um, length strips here. I'm just going to dip them in a little bit of water because that makes the hair easier to control. And then using my rehairing tool, which is basically just a pronged needle. You can see in the front where the little prong is. I'm going to wrap little strands of hair over my finger and very gently pick up that hair, making sure it all gets caught into the prong at the end. And then push that directly into one of the holes on the head. And just like that, the first hair plug is in. And I'm just going to repeat this process over and over until all of her hair is in. So her hair is white with highlights of orange. Once all the hair is completely in and she's been completely rehaired, rerooted, you're going to have to seal all of the roots. I'm using a little bit of no sew glue and I am putting it directly inside of the head. I'm going to use a Q-tip to evenly distribute all of the glue and let that completely dry. While that's drying, I'm going to work on the tail. I have a little bit of orange and white here one quarter length strands. I've wrapped them up in a twist tie, put the twist tie through the tail hole, and I'm going to use my pliers to pull that hair through. Not all the way, just about halfway. Like this. Now I'm going to remove the twist tie, and I'm going to replace that with a zip tie. And I'm going to seal this zip tie and make sure that it's as tight, tight, tight as it possibly can be so that way no hair gets loose. Use some scissors to trim off the excess at the top there and then you can pull that tail right through and just like that, Citrus Cream has her new tail. I'm going to use my pliers to help me put together both, both parts of the neck plug here. Then I'm going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue on the inner rim of the neck area. And I'm going to press that neck plug back in, just like this. Then I'll also put some glue at the top and glue the head in. Let's check her out because that's the last and final step. So without further ado, this is Citrus Cream. She came out so, so cute. Exy, I hope you like her. I hope you love her and enjoy her. I'll be mailing her out to you very shortly. And if your OC was not selected this month, please, please don't be too bummed or sad or angry. There's always next month. And I am trying my hardest to make a little bit more time and maybe get one out every other week. So stay tuned to my channel. I might just surprise you guys. And if you want to enter your OC, stay tuned for the giveaway details. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye! Want to see your custom OC pony made in real life on Fan Custom Friday? It could happen! Submit a drawing of your OC pony along with a short story about him or her and be sure to include the OC's name. Once a month, I will choose one pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it's completely free. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. And I now ship worldwide, so it doesn't matter where you live. As long as I can ship there, you will get your OC if it's selected. And shipping is completely free also. Giveaway rules. You must be a subscriber to this channel. When you submit your OC drawing, please also send in your YouTube name so I can verify that you are indeed a subscriber. And if you're under 18, you must get your parents' permission before entering the giveaway because if your OC is selected, I will need your address to mail it to you. There are three different ways to submit your OC pony.
you can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Mandapanda Toy Collector. You can message me on Instagram at Mandapanda Toy Collector, or you can mail me your drawing and your story to Amanda Panda P.O. Box 65105, San Antonio, Texas 78265. 